session is about social networking, and um, it's a great pleasure to bring a lot of very knowledgeable friends here. Uh, and I don't like to spend an awful lot of time introducing the session because I, I prefer to actually do it. Our uh, first speaker is Hedwin Wasink from Art Leisure, and um, he is going to be talking about how social networking changes in the world of tourism. Yeah? Thank you. Would you like to say a few words about yourself, Hedwin? Yeah, thank you, Dimitrios. Uh, I'm uh, from the pre-computer, pre-internet, pre-Twitter generation, and in the meantime, I'm uh, leading a company which is Vacation Rentals, which is actually a very newly developing part of the travel industry. We normally talk about flights, we talk about hotels, we talk about car rentals, we don't talk about vacation rentals. But that's changing rapidly since this world is starting to get organized, and it has been a pure B2C or even C2C market. And it's now shaping up and it's taking momentum comparable to what the airlines have lived through, the hotels have lived through, and tourist boards as well were involved in shaping that landscape. I've worked 18 years for KLM Royal Dutch Airlines. After that, I worked three years for what was Krasnopolsky Golden Tulip and now is NH Hotels. Then I did some e-commerce ventures. I tried to set up a competitor of Priceline in Europe. We failed, learned a lot about it. Then I joined the Dutch Tourist Board for three and a half years, and I'm now heading this company for five years. Um, I feel very similar to John Kent, who has lived through many of these things that happened in the past 30 years. Let's see if it works for me as well. Okay, so what's at leisure? At leisure is a company who has several brands. Our best known brand is Belle Villa. Um, it started in the Netherlands. Euroless started in Belgium. Casamundo we bought a year ago, which is the largest German vacation rental platform at the moment in Europe. Ardenne Relais is actually a brand we revived last year because it was a specialist brand. That's actually where everything started. It's a niche we play under its own name. Casa for All has not yet been launched. If you look for it on the internet now, you see that the URL is taken, but there's no site yet. We'll put the houses which are the same model as Belle Villa, but which are not Belle Villas in the terms of experience in that brand. Jules Villas is something which is very upmarket, not just vacation rentals, but a lot of services around it. And City Trips Europe is a portal which we use for our properties inside well-known cities. If you look at the Belle Villa part of At Leisure, it's 20,000 houses, and we did about 73 million turnover last year, 1 million unique visitors per month, and we are a pure online player. 75% is online without help, and 25% is online started search, and then supported by either a call center, email support, and nowadays Twitter support. 75% of our distribution is direct to consumers, and 25% is true affiliates, not just affiliate networks. We have our own affiliate program where we have over 2,000 partners directly connected to our back end. If we talk about social media, that's for me a small part of something which is much bigger. And I like to call that customer engagement. And there's another fashionable term. What does it mean, customer engagement? Actually, it brings together a lot of things we all know. It's about web visits, it's about transaction handling, it's also about customer relation management, it's about customer contact centers, my account environment, newsletters, questionnaires, like welcome home and how did you like our product, social media, brand management, and all things, whatever touches up on a consumer at one point of time uh, in a circle of contacts comes together. So actually it's managing and utilizing the circle of contacts, each point where a human being is in touch with your brand. It can be from seeing a television commercial, it can be in a booking process, it can be with a complaint handling, or an arrival or a check-in. What is needed to get this going? A positive brand image. People saying the brand is dead, there's distribution to the internet. If you find yourself on Google, brand isn't important. It was said this morning, it's not completely untrue, but there is a value in brand. Yeah? And the ones who have a brand, they will cherish it. The ones who want to build a new brand today, they're out for a very big challenge. There's so much clutter, how to position a new brand, make it trustworthy and well-known. And of course, if you talk about the circle of context, it's about continuous good experience. Wherever you touch upon a brand, every touch point should deliver a positive experience. 
So you must be happy with the commercials. You must be happy with the service center. The website must be usable. The payment should be safe. Every point of contact needs to deliver a positive experience. You're as good as the last experience you delivered, to paraphrase from something else. So context must always be perceived as easy, friendly, caring, punctual, and most of all, relevant. People lose track. There's so much information, and search engines give so many answers that even the short list of answers is too big to choose from. So relevancy, I think, is a key word in the world of today and where we're heading tomorrow. I like to talk about consumers. Think about the human being. Forget about consumer, forget about client, forget about customer, forget about passenger, even forget about guest. Think about your sister, your parents, your friends, your colleagues, your children. Think about a human being. Here I took a lady who lives in Köln in Germany. She's 43 years old. Her name is Marianne Müller. She's married, and she has two kids in the age of 9 and 13. And now we see how she touched upon the business we are in. She uses two different email addresses. She has a Facebook ID, and of course, when she searches on website without identifying herself, she is there, but we don't recognize her. She searched, she booked, she booked a competitor's product in a platform we own, Casamundo. She booked a competitor's product in a platform we don't own, so we don't have a touch point. But actually, we're building up a vision on an individual human being. And of course, privacy laws restrict the utilization of that knowledge. And it's good that these privacy laws are getting stricter and tighter in the sense that they want to protect individuals from harming themselves. On the other hand, we should be careful not to kill e-commerce by making rules and inter interpreting rules in a too strict way so it will smother the developments we are currently experiencing. If we look at Belle Villa, the brand, and how we are in social media, then we are moving from a monologue to a dialogue, and now we are getting into networked communication. The lady up front just asked me, are you Twittering? I said, I'm listening, and then she smiled. Because there's a whole lot of information going around, and everybody has to pick out the relevant parts. What is social media? Social media is not a media per se. It's a key to listen, first of all, to engage, to get in touch, and to build relationships. Eh? You follow people on Twitter, and when you get bored or you get too many messages, you will unfollow them because you get confused or you don't like those people. You'll hook up to people you recognize, you like, and you're interested in. So, as from marketing perspective, we are no longer talking in terms of campaigns, the word is there, and if you do AdWords, you talk AdWords campaigns, but actually, you have to think in conversations, one-on-one -on -one conversations with human beings. There's a lot of sheets which explain, or try to explain what social media is about. This is one of them. So anyway, it has to do with the, the speed of things. If you're a reporter nowadays, and there's people writing here for the press, eh, what is quicker to the news, what's quicker to the public, the tweet, or the Facebook posting, or the article being mailed off this afternoon to be published this afternoon on a blog. It's hard to be the fastest one to distribute news. Organic, it's, it has no shape. It, it goes where it goes, and it comes from where it comes. You can't shape it, you can't control it's happening. It's about collaboration. Everybody connecting to everybody else, to whatever means. You can post your tweets on your Facebook page, and you can put your Facebook page on your whatever. It's about intelligence. Um, and <laughs> I could talk about this for an hour or two, but it's not a stupid thing. It's, it's very sophisticated, as billions of people are working to make it more sophisticated. We are all shaping this. This is not something top-down from a company which invented social media. It's us doing it. It's anti-structure, so there is no control. And you need to learn. You need to learn what's nice, what's useful, and eventually it will shape and keep shifting shapes towards what we need and what we like. A very important thing in the development of the pretty young social media, and you see it here with the 2008 letter and the 2010 letter, is that there's one step in between. 
we didn't think about conversational list two years ago, three years ago. And now, conversational list, people being in dialogue on media, take already 39% of the volume in social media. So Facebook is something completely different from Twitter. Twitter is talking, Facebook is showing, is telling, is reading. Completely different interaction. If you look at where social media are big, it's not with us in the Western world. It's in those countries which make a quantum leap from non-communication to one-to-one -one communication. And we are actually lagging behind and not moving and growing as fast as other countries. Coming back to uh, the Netherlands in this case, uh, and we look at the size, Facebook 550 million active users, maybe 560 million by today. Twitter, LinkedIn, more professional environment than the other two or more in the private atmosphere. Hives, which is very well known in Holland, being bought by the Telegraph Media Group, which doesn't have much sympathy. Probably this purchase will kill Hives and promote Facebook more quickly than they could ever imagine. YouTube, Flickr, and Foursquare. I logged into Foursquare four times yesterday here in Athens just to see what's happening. That's picking up here as well. We are active in all Foursquare. We are a little bit uh, experimental because our holiday homes in the model we have is not something we like to distribute. We are an intermediary. We don't want to bring the bookers to the house owner direct. If you look at the influence of the customer, then you talk about before, during, and after the stay. Before you talk about pool, during you talk about keep, and after you talk about activate or reactivate. So from a marketing perspective, you have to do certain things, and from a web care perspective, you need to do other things. In our call center, we are now trying to implement um, a Twitter interface, but the very modern open platform call center software we have is not yet ready to accommodate that. So we are doing it with a trainee like many companies who are very active in Twitter at the moment, but we should prepare for larger volumes. If you look at uh, traffic on social media, then this is uh, which media are used using the brand name of Belle Villa, and you see that uh, the blue line, which is Facebook, is dominant. And we have a lot of fan pages, well, German fan pages, Dutch fan pages. We have even have advertising pages already, like advertorials on Facebook, where we promote our uh, products. Uh, but Twitter is catching up quite rapidly. This is how it developed over time. Social bakers, there's a lot. I have, the end sheet is a sheet with URLs of sites which give free information on the developments within social media. Everybody wants to measure. What can measure? Well, I'll show you afterwards. Then about the return on investment. Eh, Norbert Stiekema of Disney was talking about his channels, uh, the 17% in the traditional, the 1.6 conversion in the direct. Well, our direct conversion is 1% in the Netherlands, which is high, and the other market is 0.5%. Are we happy with that? Yes. We have the attention, and now we can work on improving conversion. And social media are a way of improving conversion, because they build trust in a brand. And where do customers book? Where does added value? And one of the most important added values is trust. I trust you. I can book with you. I feel safe. You will help me. You won't misuse the information I bring to you. It's hard to measure, and there's a lot of things uh, involved. But what you can do is you can calculate some hard impact stuff, and then you have to feel your way around some soft impact stuff, and adding the two together makes you decide whether you continue something or you, you abandon it or stop it. So marketeers who are purely from the calculative nature and say, okay, I want to be sure I get a hard target, okay, then you don't use uh, social media. Is that wise? No, it's very stupid. So you have to get away from the algorithm, the, the pure mathematical approach of marketing, as well as 20 years ago, the people who didn't calculate anything, who didn't look for results, just worked on shaping brands, had big stories, uh, a lot of money involved, had to go into figures. It's, the, it's the, the balance between the two, the soft and the hard, which ha have to 
support your marketing decisions. Now you can measure on socialmention.com, which is a site, you can type in any word, you can type in a brand name, and it gives you back four values. A strength indicator, a sentiment indicator, a passion indicator, and a reach indicator. We've been measuring this with intervals since February last year, so almost a year, and here you see the progress we've been making. If you look at the strengths, it says something about our brand towards a very well-known global brand like Apple. Of course, we are relatively weak compared to those. If you look at sentiment, then it says how many positive comments versus how many negatives. And the neutrals are kept out of the game. So we've actively achieved an improvement in our um, sentiments in terms that 30% give a positive remark versus one giving a negative remark. And then all the neutrals are in between. Passion says something about the likeliness that somebody who twittered or posted a Facebook thing on you will do it again. So it's not just one touch. No, they keep involved in talking and, and, and posting about your brand. And reach is the number of unique new participants who joined in. So that's growing the community in these terms. This you can do free of cost for any brand name, any word you like. You can start doing it today. It doesn't give a history, so you have to take down the figures and then compare them over time. What happened in the Netherlands, if you look at the travel branch, KLM has become number one. Why? The Ash Cloud forced them into servicing passengers through Twitter. They could not be reached by telephone. The website uh, was uh, not there, so the, the request for uh, an app to deal with a delay or with a, with a rebooking, I would love it. Because I know when I go to a human being, I'm standing in line, and by the time I get there, they can't give me an answer. So I like to help myself. Transavia is uh, KLM's uh, daughter company, and as high speed is the high speed train from Holland to uh, Paris. And then we're already number four. Why? We started early. We have the advantage of an early mover. Our challenge is to be there when the others below us, who are much bigger, start really putting an effort into social media. This is an example of a dialogue that takes place over Twitter with the conclusion that in the end, the person we rented the house to notified our competitor that he was already satisfied and uh, thanks them for the offer, which he didn't take up on. So actually, you're winning customers by tweeting. It's a sales channel now. Predictions. They are not mine. I looked them up. I took out the 10 most uh, appealing ones. Um, and this is what the, the knowledgeable people, but what's knowledgeable in social media today, it's just starting, what they are predicting. If you look at Facebook, uh, if Google is scared of anything, they're not scared of anybody or anything, but then it should be Facebook. Because it's a whole new world in which people get to things without Googling. Because they get pointed towards options by friends. So you don't have to Google to find something. You just, they draw your attention to stuff. And the number of uh, uh, Facebook visitors has passed the number of Google visitors in the recent months. First, the number of time, the amount of time spent on Facebook was larger than Google. Now the number of visitors is already larger than Google. It's all in the handout you will find after the meeting. What did we learn? There's a lot of positive effects on search engine optimization, on stimulating your natural results on Google, because you're building contact, which is quite unique and which is indexed. And social media are authority sites, so they get a heavy weight in the Google algorithms. It requires a lot of time and support. It's not for free. You have to invest time. Like Norbert Stiekemann was saying, the internet is not a free channel. Uh, put a lot of money into it. So being engaged with individuals on social media takes time, so it takes money. You need to have a good strategy because you can also damage your reputation. You can upset potential customers. You, you need to know what you're doing. And you need to find tools which enable you to monitor, 
to steer, to guide, and to learn. And each medium has a different role, as already said. Facebook is something different from Twitter. And Twitter is, which I demonstrated in the sheet before this, growing into a, a service and a sales channel quite rapidly. Eventually, we want to go for the return on investment. What is the cost of sale? But you build it up by engaging with potential customers. Social media is a big tool there. You have to make them brand aware, because in the clutter of information, they have to find something familiar. If you see 10 positions or 20 positions to click on on page one of Google, which of those 20s are you going to click? The first, the one to the right? No, the one which draws your attention because it has a familiar ring. So brand building and Google clicking have a relationship. The interaction, of course, needs to be smooth and appealing. You need to, to tie people into a conversation to bring them to the sale. Same as on the telephone. You need to improve your image, become more attractive. Of course, in the end, it's traffic to conversion. Eh? I have on my iPhone uh, Omniture stats. Here I can see real time how many visitors were on my website these past days, actually today, and the bottom graph shows the number of bookings I get out of it. The green line is same time last year, the red line is same time last month. So every time on Sunday evening, because when everybody is sleeping, all the holiday bookers are booking. Sunday evening is my busiest time in the shop. No travel agencies open. And loyalty is something which is granted. You can't buy loyalty. I'm also from the pre-loyalty time in the airlines. Norbert and I had the Norbert was a KLM colleague as well. We set up the Flying Dutchman program from an affinity program into a loyalty program. You can't buy loyalty, it's granted to you. I'm still wondering if a business traveler who traveled a lot and he had a diamond level or a platinum level in an airline, why don't, don't they let you keep it for life? You've already achieved it. And then you're getting older, you're getting into a managed position where you have to sit behind the desk and you can't travel, and then you're punished for not being able to travel anymore. Ridiculous. So actually, the loyalty program must work adverse in that stage of life. I'm not good enough anymore. Message to the airlines? These are the tips which I promised of sites where you can find um, measurements and, and, and insights on the social media and which help you to navigate into this new world. I hope I stayed within my 15 minutes, uh, Dimitrios. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me ask before. Thank you. Thank you very much. Before I, I, I take questions for here, how many people are using Twitter here? How many people are tweeting? How many people are tweeting actively? You know, once, twice a day. Okay. So infancy audience here. And you can see on the panel, uh, Justin has been tweeting, I think Tinkara has been tweeting, uh, Katerina, has, se several people have been tweeting from here, but still Twitter is not mainstream. How many people, Facebook? Okay, how many people do not have an account on Facebook? We'll see you later, yeah? <laughs> okay. Questions for Hedwin. Who would like to ask a question? The lady at the back. There. Let me see how many questions have we got. Have we got any other questions? No? OK. Good. Sorry, Katerina. Hi, I'm Come. Celine from you the Sunny Resort. You cannot ignore Katerina, guys. Okay. It's impossible. Sorry? Yeah? I am Celine from the Sunny Resort. Um, do you combine offline marketing with, uh, with your investments on uh, search engine optimization, or do you only do online marketing? No, we do offline marketing. In the Netherlands, we do TV commercials. We do print. We do joint promotions with brands. Actually, the total gas stations were mentioned. We started joint promotion uh, day before yesterday for a full month. So actually, we're doing offline with online, but always with the intention of promoting the brand and drawing traffic to the online. So our, our, our e-commerce is purely online. We don't sell offline. OK, thank you very much. Um, I, I see gens of the audience. Uh, are you talking about China and, and social networking later on, gens? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, OK. Because one of the, one of the questions I have in, in um, panels like that is that 
uh, the cultural dimension of, of all the social media and Zen is going to cover it tomorrow, so I'm not going to open it now. Thank you very much.